All right, uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to make a truss um, from a bit of uh, geometry, in this case, uh, a curve, uh, more specifically, a line. Um, so I'm going to just quickly target uh, that curve, and I'm going to use the divide curve and give it a, uh, a slider count. Alright, and I'm going to, so this will be the uh, number of, um, I guess, web numbers. Okay. And uh, now the thing that I'm going to do, uh, just to describe to you, I'm going to have, basically I'm going to call out each, every other point and uh, some of those points will move down and others will stay where they are so like this one will stay that one will move down stay down stay down so to do that you're going to use a call pattern and under sets uh, you can look uh, for a sequence and I'm going to use this call pattern here and I'm going to plug in what it wants is a list to call so I'm going to give it the points and it wants a pattern, uh, so you can see that it automatically it has a, uh, a false, false, true, true. So let's just turn off these, and we can see that false, false, it turned those off, and true, true, it, it keeps those. False, false, true, true. Okay, so that's the pattern it has in it now. Uh, I'm going to give it a new pattern. And I can go in here and I can type in true, false. Uh, or I can type in one zero. It's a binary uh, code for either on or off. So um, if I plug that in now, you can see this turned red. And the reason it turned red, and many of you will make this mistake, that's why I'm going over it, uh, is because it's a uh, text at the moment. And to turn it not into text, to turn the, I have to turn off this multi-line items uh, so that it looks at it as if it's um, just numbers in a list. So uh, to be specific, this is the first item in the list, zero, the second item in the list, one, and the actual item, scroll back a little bit so you can see it is one and zero. Okay, so on, off. You can see now that the pattern is uh, on, off, on, off. And it just keeps going until it runs out of items. Now I'm going to copy that uh, call pattern by control C, control V, and I'm going to right click on the P, and I'm going to tell it to invert the pattern. And by inverting the pattern now, uh, the, what this is getting is, is actually instead of one zero, it's getting zero one. It's just inverting the pattern. All right, so we can see that these have uh, the first one and the third one and so on and so forth on. This one has the second and the fourth and so on. All right, so now let's do a move. So I'm gonna move uh, these items down. So I'm just gonna give it a Z and I'm gonna move these items down. You see that they actually moved up, and remember that every uh, component, or a lot of components have defaults, and this one has a, a, a 1 as the F, and, the mem and as long as it's positive, it's always going to move up. So I want to uh, change that, and um, I'm going to do that by creating a slider that has negative values. Okay, and that's that way. Now, uh, now I need to uh, take this list. I'm going to de uh, disable the preview here. So now I have those values and those, and I'm going to weave them together. So I'm going to use the weave. I'm going to take these components, put them in there, and these components, and put them in there. And let's see what we got. Let's. It looks like it created a, a continuous list. Now, if I want to see what that list is doing, I'm basically drawing a line between this point, that point, 
the woven list. So I'm going to just type in a P line, poly line, and now I have web members. Now you might, just depending on what number you put in here, let's say it was 19, you might get something like this, which is a broken kind of truss, right? We'd really like it to end kind of uh, symmetrically. So to do that, you have to kind of use your head a bit. So how can I make sure that I'm always getting an even number? Well, the simplest way to do that is just to multiply the uh, original number by 2. Now, of course, this will give me twice as many, but it will force it basically to always be positive or to be even. So it doesn't matter now how many I give it, you're going to get a symmetrical truss. So I'm just going to turn it down to around 5, so now we can see it. So that's a truss. Now remember that this original information came from basically one curve. So if I decide that I want to uh, create a series of these, so I'm just going to uh, hold down the Alt key using the, the uh, gumball. I'm going to create a couple of, of more curves and I'm just going to select those and use this multi-curves. You see that it is now taking those three curves and applied the same information to it. And as I make it more dense, it does that. Uh, I might start labeling this one, depth of truss. Voila. And now I can make it deeper. I can invert it. Okay, I have complete control. Now, um, let's just imagine that I get a little bit different uh, information. Let's say that, uh, in fact, uh, I want there to be... This is the perimeter of my building and I'm going to set up a series of bays in it. So let's see what that might look like. I'm just going to uh, copy this and again select these two curves and divide, use the divide tool to divide these into a series of bays. And so I'm going to create another slider and this will be number of bays. Maybe I want these uh, lines to be a bit longer so it represents more of what a building might look like. Okay, so I have uh, 10 bays and I'm just going to connect uh, the points together. Probably to keep this simpler, I'm just going to uh, create one for each line. So there'll be this one will be targeting that one. This one will be targeting the right one. So now I have uh, a series of points, and I'm just going to connect them by a line, much like we did in the first routine. And now I've got a series of lines. Now remember, this represents. Uh, maybe a perimeter of my building and this is the base size. I'm just going to instead of this right here I'm going to replace these those curves with these curves here. You can see now I've reoriented and I have a, a series of um, of bays um, so on and so forth. I'm just going to turn these down add some web members, turn it down some more so it looks proportional. Alright, and as I change my design to have maybe instead of uh, 10, maybe it's just 4 bays, or I change uh, the way the geometry works, so now I'm going to like maybe move that up. So I have a series of uh, in that sense. 
Alright, so that's, that's, a, that's a good start.